uh, just one of those classic combination flavors that really works well together. Some ingredients that were meant to be eaten together and been from the north and having two Italians here is the combination of fish and Yorkshire caviar. Mushy peas. Say again that word? Yorkshire caviar. Just, just read my lick. Mushy peas. No mushy peas. <laughs> it's mushy peas, that's what it is. <laughs> so you're telling me how to speak English. There we go, right. <laughs> He's been here longer than I am as well. There you go. He's born in Watford. Mushy Making it all up. Peas. There you go, right. Uh, so well, first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to make our batter for this. Now, this is uh, the way that a fish... It's slightly different, and what we're going to do with this is we're always we're going to use haddock for this, and I thought we'd use plain flour, some yeast, there we go, a little bit of yeast, this is dried yeast, and then we use salt and sugar. We keep that separate to the yeast, because salt will kill yeast. Right? Sugar will feed it, salt will kill it. So we keep it separate for the moment. When we mix it all together, it doesn't matter. Bit of cider vinegar. This is where it gets... You like this, show. Can you see this? I'm, I'm... Vodka and tonic. I do like vodka and vodka tonic. Vodka and tonic in a batter. That's vodka going in there, and this is tonic water. That'd be like tempura, wouldn't it? With the, yeah, with yeah the... but vodka and tonic, and with it having the yeast in there, it froths up. And it Are you saying that dry yeast and dry salt don't work, we'll but when they're wet, other. they're OK? It will kill each other. If you put salt on yeast directly, it will die. But it's OK when it's so wet. Right, when it's mixed up, because you've got the sugar in there, and you need it somewhere warm that nicely uh, froths it up, and then we've got in here. We leave that for about 45 minutes and we end up with our batter, like that. And you can see that. Smell that, it smells like bread. It does. Why have you put vodka in it? Because you're here. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> but I like, I like I just vodka and tonic batter. I just think it works work, I do really like vodka works, and works. tonic, I do. So what we do is we take our haddock like that and just pop that in the fryer. So make sure it's really well coated. No need to flour that beforehand. Just pop it straight into our fryer. Be really careful when you do this. Always lay the fish kind of away from you at that point. Pop it in so it doesn't splatter up on you. And then, of course, the most important thing with this is, of course, scraps. Which scraps? Scraps. What is this, scraps? Scrapello for you. Scrapello. Ah, scrapello. That sits on there. <laughs> ah. Now, obviously, we can't talk about it today without talking about Eurovision. Uh, now, you had several attempts of it, didn't you, before 81 when you won? Yeah, I did. I the song for Europe, as it used to be called, yeah. the first one I ever did was in 1976, and I yeah. came second to Brotherhood of Man, lost by two points. You know, Kisses for Me, that one? Yes. Mm. That one, and we lost by two points. Did the you? song right, Wake okay. Up. Then I was in it for several years doing uh, you know, in different guises, but then I won with the band called Coco uh, in 1978. We went on to do Eurovision in Paris. Right. And sadly, although we were tipped to win, yeah. we came 11th which was the worst that the UK had ever done at that time, so I was humiliated. <laughs> so, uh, what's it I like, for, I mean, going back into it again? Well, I didn't think like... we'd do any worse than 11. Right. And I thought, actually, I thought Making Your Man Up was a great Eurovision song. So I was... And, and to be perfectly honest, James, the reason I did it was so that my mum and dad could watch me on the telly again. Right. So but then how did, how did Books Fizz come about? How was that going from there Well, to... because I'd been in Coco and I'd done the Eurovision and I was in a, a girl-boy harmony band yeah. uh, and I left, the woman who put Books Fizz together knew me from my previous experience and she just... She approached me and asked me to join. Mike Nolan was already there because the Books Fizz, if you like, was built around Mike. He was the first one in the band. I suppose I was the second. Yeah. Jay Aston came through um, uh, a dance agency and Bobby G, I believe, answered uh, an advert in the stage or something. So how do you think, it, why do you think that that was a su success as opposed to everything else before it didn't go so well? Vel um, was it Velcro? It was, of course it was Velcro, <laughs> for goodness sake. It was Velcro, it was the bright, you know, the primary colours. The song was a very happy song. We all had blonde hair. It was just... They had, we, we didn't all have blonde hair before the competition. Yeah. We had to be done so that our hair and our height even, we all had to be the same height as Mike Nolan. It's all down to Mike Nolan. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really, that much goes into it. Because yeah. you see some of it nowadays, and let's face it, that some of the stuff that they're wearing is a bit... It's a bit dodgy, isn't it, really? Well, I think because we ripped the skirts off, at that time, nothing like that had been done before, you know. I think the, the, uh, in 1975 or 74, when um, ABBA won, they wore quite outlandish outfits. Yeah. But there wasn't anything other than a really strong song that caught your eye, that, yeah. that made you think, this is really good. With Making Your Mind Up, the song was good for Eurovision, um, but it wasn't, I don't think, good enough to win, thankfully, because we had the rip-off skirts. So why we do you won think... by four, four points, we won by. So why do you think we've done so badly since then? Why? 
Possibly because um, we've had bad songs, possibly because everyone hates us. <laughs> or a combination of both. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, it seems to me like a lot of it before is the people voting for the next next door country and that well, kind yeah, of stuff. Well, yeah, there is that. I mean, the Eastern Europeans have had their own version of the Eurovision. Yeah. And so they're, 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 their comfort zone is, is voting for their next door neighbour. But I think they are now becoming more westernised. And I think possibly, hopefully anyway, tonight's competition will be fairer than it has been for years. Because the, the voting of it slightly changed, hasn't it, really, now? It changed it? last year. Right. We thought, oh, this is good for us. You know, the voting's been, been changed so that the people vote and there's a, there are uh, professionals who vote as well. And we came last, so we can't use that as an excuse <laughs> anymore. Right, Cheryl, <laughs> I'm going to show you how to make Yorkshire caviar. Oh, do you know, this Dry is my Marabat worst piece. nightmare. What do you mean it's your worst nightmare? It gives you wind. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is the reason why I've done it for you, because you're in a nightclub tonight, you see. No. Because I believe you, 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 you are actually going to a nightclub tonight, aren't you? After I'm the work It's a big club in London called GAY, and we're yeah. going, because it's Eurovision night, we're going to go yeah. and do a gig, so, and it'll be great. Well, there's lots of, it will be, because it won't mind, because there's lots of people in there, and what you do is you, if it does happen, then you sort of do this over here, you know. I'll be, <laughs> I'll be uh, floating uh, on air. Blame <laughs> Gennaro. I learned something <laughs> else now. Oh, yes. Pasta fagioli. Exactly. Dancing them right. away. This should hopefully stop it, right? This is, this is bicarb soda. Doesn't, isn't that what gives you it? I don't know, but anyway, it's either does something. <laughs> uh, bicarb soda in with the marafat peas. Leave those to soak. We've got the marafat peas here, and all we do is drain these off, right, like that, and cook them in plenty, plenty of water. Now, like you say, you drain them off for a good few hours, and you cook them in plenty of water. And to finish that off, of course, we've got butter. Look at the fish. The fish See? looks great. Fish, plenty of butter, salt and pepper, obviously. And we've got proper Yorkshire caviar there. And then I'm going to pop this on the front. See, look at this fish. Vodka and tonic batter. Mm. The fish. And the wind is gone. There you go. <laughs> now, <laughs> the wind is gone. <laughs> now, still on with the Eurovision, you're doing a bit of a comeback gig, aren't you, in, in July? Yeah, we're doing the 11th of July. We're at the, um, we're at the uh, I was going to say the Albert Hall. We're not there. We're at the Palladium. Right. The Palladium, which was the first uh, theatre we ever worked in after winning Eurovision. Yeah. So we're doing our 30th anniversary at the Palladium on Monday the 11th of July and we've got Bjorn again as our special guest so Fantastic. it'll be a Eurofest. A Eurofest. Euro fest. Yeah. Sounds yeah. good to me. Well best of luck with it. Right I'm just going to get the old scrappy scrappio for the old Italianos. Oh, there's one. Over here. There you go. That's one. That was an mistake you. You. <laughs> mistake you. You made it. And this, is, this is for you. This is for me. There you go. There you go. See I don't eat fried food. Well, you do now. Oh. I will. Do, of course, listen, I will listen, today. Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> Good, cut it. Cut it. <laughs> Actually, that's great. That crispy, sounds amazing. Crispy, crispy. That sounds amazing. Vodka and tonic batter. Very good. Vodka and tonic. Okay, I'm, can I have the lemon? Yeah. It's a mouthy lemon. Now take it. Take. Don't forget that little bit of Yorkshire caviar. Oh, I'm the Yorkshire caviar. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay. Not hot. <laughs> Happy with that? It's fantastic. And remember, if you stood next to Cheryl in the nightclub, move away. <laughs> 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 <laughs>